Hey, my name is Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor. Thank you for joining me. I am out here in this beautiful day on our family farm in New Jersey. We don't actually farm anything, but it could be farmed. Anyway, um, I did a blog. I wrote a blog this week to share this week, and I was going to do a video about it. I have these issues with my eyes, so I was like, oh, do you really want to do that? It just felt crappy. Then, in the meantime, I was inspired to do a coffee talk. The coffee talk is where people who are in my tidy tutor world, we get together every other Tuesday live and then the video is recorded and I share it with everybody that couldn't make it live. And um, I did it on the same topic. So what I've decided to do was share that coffee talk with you. Normally it's just available to my tidy tutor insiders. So I hope you enjoy it. I really hope that you see how really 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 important it is to do what it is that I'm talking about here in this video and I will this is a setup for another video where I can share what I talk about in there that is about um, how we can fit everything in our day if it's done in a specific order so I think you're gonna like that too all right so I'll see you at the end of the video because I'll do one of these things at the end of the video okay welcome everybody thank you so much for being here this is our coffee talk. Today's date is um, June 16th, 2020. Um, I'm going to get started right now. I'm going to share my screen. All right. So this coffee talks topic is the secret to staying on track and succeeding in all areas of life, not just getting the house cleaned up. I know that sounds wildly um, optimistic, right? But bear with me. You'll see what I mean. Now, another thing that this is about is doing things in order. I could have named it this, doing things in order, no matter what pressing things you've got on your mind, of course, short of an emergency, okay? And the reason that I say this is because that's really what this topic is. It's, and what this topic, what this will do for you is create a success in life and not just getting your house cleaned up. And you'll see why I mean that, okay? Um, this seems like it's not that much of a big deal. Like, oh yeah, great. Um, and that's kind of why I didn't want to name it that because as you go through, say the archive or the library in our um, recordings and you saw it, see something that's titled doing things in order, no matter what things you've got on your mind, it, it may not spark you to want to open it up. It's way too important to have it just be breezed by because of the topic. And that's why I didn't name it that, but it works even though. Okay. Now, what has to happen is these two habits that we have. Do what you gotta before you do what you wanna and do it now. Two things too that kind of can lay flat like, oh yeah, I know that I have to do what I have gotta before I do what I wanna. I know that, you know, I need to stop like going online first or answering somebody's um, email first before I do what I'm supposed to do. I know that I have to do that. I'm gonna get into like kind of the down and dirty of why this is so important. I am a sincere believer that if we know why we're doing something, we do it. If we don't, if we just, if the, the why is wishy-washy, then the commitment is just not there. And we need to have a strong commitment to do the things that are important in life. Because the things that are important in life are not the easy things. They're not like sitting down watching TV. They're all that you've noticed this, right? All the things that are kind of like important in life takes effort. The effort that we are willing to give if we have a strong enough why behind it. Okay. All right. So there, there's my slide for the, but why? But why? Why is this so important? Okay. Now I've got to paint a picture here. All right. Please, I want you to stick with me. It's going to seem ridiculous at first. And you'll see what I mean when I continue on. Please bear with me. All right. I am not by any means questioning anybody's intelligence here. Sometimes we don't see the forest for the trees, you know? Sometimes things that are just so obvious, we just don't see it. And so that's what I'm gonna show you now, okay? All right, so here's an image of two people looking at a clock at the airport. And the way I'm painting this picture is that they're devastated. We didn't make it. We didn't get here on time. All right, oh, oh my God, are we going to make it? Right. I mean, gone are the days of, you know, Home Alone. Remember Home Alone when they, uh, the movie Home Alone, it was a Christmas movie way back. I don't remember when, 90s sometime, 80s maybe even. And they 
they missed it, they slept in and they were going to miss their flight. So they just ran right through the airport, ran right to their gate. That doesn't happen anymore. Ever since 9-11, now there are um, a lot more security checks. And sometimes you don't know when, sometimes they can say, um, all right, well, there's something going on and everybody has to move over to that line. It's happened to me. So you got to get there on time, right? Here's another thing, an interview, all right? Let's say you're waiting on a job interview. These are two examples that I'm giving for things that are devastatingly important, have a ripple effect in our lives if we don't schedule correctly, if we don't get there on time, right? To get somewhere on time, certain things need to be in place so that we can do that, right? And the consequence of not getting to the airport on time means missing the flight, and who knows what is the important event that you're going to that is necessary to get on that flight. The other thing is a job interview. So these are two things, two instances that I'm giving about having to get somewhere and doing things in order. All right. Let's say you have to get gas. All right. You know that you're going to get to the airport tomorrow at a certain time or that you need to a job interview you have a job interview and you need to be there at a certain time everybody knows you show up to a job interview late you might as well go home right it's the first impression if late for the interview they're going to be late for work so you know that your gas gauge is low and you need gas so you need to go to the gas station and you need to fill up or at least get enough gas in there to get either to your interview or to your flight so next up Okay, you know, you have to get gas, you know, you have an appointment you have to make or a flight that you have to catch. Okay, now the secret to staying on track and succeeding in all areas of life, not just getting the house cleaned up, that was the title of it, right? The dangerous ripple effect that happens when doing things out of order. And so I have these different um, these two different examples to give you. I have these two different examples because I want I need to give a dramatic effect, a, a, a real, like, honest to goodness, look in the face of what happens when we do things out of order, because our days are exactly that. Only the consequence isn't as drastic, but we've seen that it almost is. It's just drastic enough that we can skate by the, 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 the ripple effect consequence may not be the dream job we didn't get the flight that we missed, but the frantic that we feel running around like, you know, chickens without a head. Sorry about the analogy, that, that thing. That's really a disgusting thing to say, isn't it? I mean, it's, I guess it, it's been around for a long time, obviously, when they used to cut chickens' heads off and watch them run around. All right. Anyway, you know, the frantic chaos that ensues when we do things out of order. All right. So here, I want us to do the math. Okay. Let's do the math. Because, and this is where like you're saying, are you kidding me? Really? All right, ready? 15 minutes getting gas, 20 minutes getting to the airport is 35 minutes total, right? So if it's 35 minutes total, then let's get gas after we get to the airport. Why not? It's the same amount of time, right? It is, isn't it? It's the same amount of time. Why won't that work? It is the same amount of time. Logic tells you why that won't work, right? You'll have to leave 15 minutes earlier, at least, right? In a perfect world, it would be 15 minutes earlier if it takes 15 minutes from the time you leave the house to get gas and be able to take off again, right? Or plan to do it the day before. Make sure that you have gas in there, right? So that's where like the do it now habit would come in really handy, right? Because you look and see, oh, I need gas. You don't say, I'll do it later, right? I'll do it later is no longer in your vocabulary. I'll do it later is a hideously dirty word in our, in our world. Okay. Or a d dirty phrase. How's that? I know that now, you know, you might be thinking, well, you know, duh, Kathy, holy mackerel. That's ridiculous. Of course we know we can't get the gas after and we'd have to plan for it before, but what you're doing in life, if you're not doing your routine in order is exactly this. It's exactly this. What happens to us a lot is there's many things in life that have deadlines or um, weigh heavy on our minds. Um, there are also some things that might be a little bit fun or things that we feel like, oh, I need to get to that. And so we, a lot of times, and I know you can attest to this, 
um, especially if you work from home, because it's really easy to stop what you're doing on your daily routine and jump on the computer and do whatever it is that you're doing for work. And then just say to yourself, oh, what's the difference? I'll just take a shower later. Or what's the difference? I'll just do that later. If you put it on paper, it works, right? If you put it on paper, just like here, 15 minutes to get gas, 20 minutes to get to the airport, 35 minutes total, what's the difference what order I do it in? Well, the difference is you'll run out of gas on the way to the airport. That's the difference. So if you say to yourself, well, um, I'll take a shower later, I'll get the dishwasher going later, I'll get my clothes out of the dryer later, like all of those things that you have in your daily, daily routine, and you put it down on paper and you say, well, here's the math, it all works. It works exactly like this. If you don't do the things in the right order and you have in your mind, but I need to answer that email, but I need to, whatever it is, right? Whatever it is, you've got to know that you've got to do what you got to before you do what you want to. Even if the wanna things is noble, right? Even if the wanna thing that you have to do is a must too, right? Organizationally gifted people, they, they have a way of just understanding that their lives matter and that if they don't do things in a specific order, all hell breaks loose, everything unravels. So they're able to pull themselves back from that, um, you know, that crazy desire, that mad feeling that we can get sometimes, that feeling of, I really should do that. And I'll give an example after this is over of something that happened to me this morning, just so because I don't wanna do it now in case I ramble, okay? So here, we're gonna move on to the next thing. So I'm gonna show you, all right? Let's try it with some of the things that we don't think are that important, all right? Now, this is a child's daily routine, all right? I, this is like maybe a teenager's daily routine, a 12-year-old's daily routine, okay? So that's what this is. So here's all the things in, in order. There's their morning routine, make bed, walk dog, eat breakfast, wash face, all of that, right? Um, then they have an after-school routine, walk dog, change clothes, have snack, all of that. And then before bed routine, okay? Now, let's just take something out of order, all right? Let's put the watch TV first and the walk dog last. They'll, they might be able to have the exact same time watching TV. I'm going to watch TV for 15 minutes. I have 15 minutes allotted for watching TV. I'm going to walk, wa watch it first. Well, you don't walk the dog first. Both of those things would have taken the same amount of time, but what happens? The dog goes to the bathroom in the house, right? Now what happens? That 10-minute dog walk or whatever it would be just turned into about a 20-minute dog walk, right? Or at least 15, right? Because now you got to clean that up. And so you don't throw poop in a garbage in the house. And so you got to, you know, everybody knows what you have to do to pick up poop, right? So there's that. Let's say you do watch TV and eat breakfast last. Most likely, you're not going to get the breakfast, even though everything would have taken the exact same time. There is this really famous thing that um, has been done, and it's done with a jar, sand, water, marbles and, and little stones. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this. I actually have all of those ingredients in the house and I bought them way back in like April, I think I bought them because I wanted to do this. And so maybe I will do this on um, a, maybe a, a live or something like that and add it to this coffee talk because you've got to see how there really is enough time for everything but only if it's done in the correct order. And it is very true that some of the things that we maybe want to do won't fit in the jar with all of the other things, some of the things. But there's such a minute, like, unimportance to those things that you don't care. So you're able to get in all of the FaceTime with your friend, all of the um, TV watching time, the, all of the Facebook scrolling time, all of the social media stuff, all of the book reading, all of the housework, all of the projects, all fit in there, but only if they're done in order, okay? Now, look at this, ready? All right, now, here's another way I could have worded this, doing things in order, right? I could have, I could have titled this coffee talk, doing things in order. So, what does that mean to you? You know, it's like, okay, yeah, doing things in order. Let's do another spin on it. The danger of doing things out of order. All right. Okay. You know, that sits a little bit fine. You know, depends on how you look at it. Great. Now look at this. Okay. What does it mean when you see an out of order sign? What does out of order mean? What does an out of order sign mean to you when you see it? 
it means it doesn't work, right? That's what it means. And sorry about the um, urinal. I have more women in my tidy tutor world. We have more women in our family than men here, but that's the only image I could find of a bathroom out of order. So <laughs> whatever, but you get the picture, right? Whenever you see anything that says out of order, it's broken. It doesn't work. It needs to be fixed. So I want you to have this image from now on when you are doing your daily routine and you choose to do what you wanna before you do what you gotta and say to yourself, oh, I'm just, I'm doing these things out of order. Now think of it as what does out of order mean? So that you will, it will really hit home. You're doing it out of order. It doesn't work. That's what it means. Okay. All right. There's just like another image of out of order, right? There you go. Oh, can't get my money. Got to go to another ATM or maybe that's a printer. Probably is. All right. So the secret of staying on track and succeeding in all areas of life, not just getting the house cleaned up is doing what you got to before you do what you want to, because every single thing in life unravels when we don't. Now, of course, you know, there's other things like you have to be skilled at something. You can't say, I'm going to succeed as a professional football player and you're, you know, 120 pounds and you've never thrown a football in your life. You get the picture though, right? So consider the dangerous ripple effects that happen when doing things out of order and think of what out of order means from now on, okay? Here's the whole ripple effect image so that you can see, you know, one effect, one thing affects another, affects another, affects another, affects another. And we know that. We know that. We think, well, what's the difference? I'll take a shower later. It needs to be the first thing you do. The first thing you do. You get up, you get yourself ready. You don't have to shower, of course, but you get yourself ready for the day. First thing. You don't do that and you think, I'll just do it later. How many times have things just been backlogged in your life because now you got to jump in the shower or you got to get yourself ready, right? Somebody comes to the door, um, you get a phone call, you need to do something, you make a decision, oh, I'd love to do that. Everything's affected by just doing that one thing out of order. So that's just my image for it. It works, right? Doing things in order, the, 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 the opposite of it doesn't work is it works, right? Doing things in order. And so the last slide is keep calm and keep your why. Keep your why in your heart. Why am I doing things in order? Because if I don't, everything's going to go to hell in a handbasket. So um, when you feel a little frantic, and here's my example about what happened this morning is, you know, I started this meetup group and I went, I, I thought about Audrey, who is a member. And she said, if you don't know about it, then just you know, I have it at other places, but I started this meetup group. It's, I don't have the Tidy Tutor hat on it, but it, it is Tidy Tutor um, inspired. So Audrey is a member and she's said, I'd like to host a meetup. It's online where we're meeting just to get some work done. Everybody does whatever it is that they want to do. And so she said, I'd like to host a meetup and um, I'd like to do it for Monday at 11 a.m. So I s remembered this morning that I didn't schedule it. So what did I do? I jumped on the computer, right? I mean, I showered first. I showered. I came up here. This is where I do my hair and stuff. I came up here, laptops there. And I thought, well, while my tea is getting warm and my hair, because I like to dry my hair when it's not so, so wet. And my hair, I mean, I'm just giving myself all the excuses in the world to do things out of order. And it was just because I had a little bit of a panic in my heart because I should have did it yesterday. Why didn't I do it yesterday? Because I didn't write it down. We have to write things down, right? That's part of our TTU world, right? Everything, write down everything. You have an appointment, you have something coming up, you tell somebody you're gonna do something, put it in your calendar, look at your calendar before bed. These are all part of what it is that we've got going on. There's so much to living life. I don't know how the organizationally gifted in the world manage, but I do know this, that I have lots of organizationally gifted friends and family in my life. And it's very, very difficult for them to make it all happen. They do because of their nature, but they're suffering for it. They don't have the time to have the extra things that they like to do before. And why is that? It's just because they don't have a plan. And so I've helped so many of them. I've helped so many of them to be like, you know, my, like my, my niece and Katie, I don't know what's going on, but since I had the second baby, 
you know, I get everything done and everything, but I never see Greg, who's her husband, um, you know, he, but by the time he gets home from work and we get the kids to get to bed and then I finish up what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just beat. We used to be able to sit and watch TV for a while and talk before work. I, I shared with her, all right, you don't have daily routine. You don't have, uh, I mean, she does have a daily routine, but not one that's written down because when life gets crazy busy, things need to be nailed down. Also the weekly plan and the zone focus, it completely revolutionized her life. So there are things that I think I'm so blessed that I've been somebody that could not get it together. And I think it's a blessing because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't know this. And this makes life run so smoothly, even for those that are organizationally gifted because life has become super busy. So, and very different than it used to be. All right, so that's that for this. That's that for this coffee talk. Um, I think that's it for the slides, yep. So thank you so much for showing up for this coffee talk. Thank you for all the questions. Welcome to everybody that was new. And I hope I didn't miss anybody. I don't think I did. Okay, bye. Thanks so much for watching. What I want to let you know about is the entire month of June, I've been doing a live for free get together with anybody who wants to join me and the other members that are joining me. You don't have to belong. It's completely free. Um, I have the link inside of this and I'm doing it until July 1st. Now, if you're watching this later on and it's past June, please click on the link anyway because it was so successful and we enjoyed it so much that I'm still going to do it, just not every single day. And the reason I'm doing it every single day now, except for Sunday, is because we're in the midst of this um, lockdown and people are just lonely and I wanted to figure out how could I help. So if we're going to be forced to stay home, we might as well make the best of it and do the best we can so that when we're done with this time and we can finally get out of the house and live our lives again, maybe home might be a better place than it was before. And that's what we're doing together. So I hope you'll go in the um, description box or right here on this page if you're um, watching this on Facebook or on my blog and click on the link and just sign up and get together with me and the other members. Okay? All right. Bye.